Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create an Excel file in C Sharp. Before starting, you'll need to make sure you have a C Sharp console application with the .NET 6 framework and Iron XL supports the latest version of the .NET framework. You'll firstly need to install the Iron XL library into the project. I already have it installed as you can see, but you can install it using the NuGet package manager from the NuGet website. Now let's close the NuGet tab and move to the program CS file. So here you can see the code for creating Excel files programmatically. At first we import the Iron XL library into the program file by writing using Iron XL at the top of the program file. And this will enable us to use the Iron XL features in our code file. After that, I created a workbook by using workbook.create. And that function, um, XLSX is the default Excel file format as it is the latest, but you can change it according to your requirements. Now using the workbook variable, we'll create the sheet inside the workbook and assign a proper name to the sheet using the create worksheet function as I did in line five. We can access the cell values by giving the cell name in the parameters of the sheet variable. So here I set the volume of the A1 cell on line six. You can assign any value or even formula to the specific cell. We can format the cell stylings like border color, border style, background color. As you can see on line nine, I set the bottom border style of cell A1 to double. So it will show the double line under the A1 cell. We can even assign values and properties to a range of cells simultaneously. As you can see on line 12, uh, I've assigned the value five to the cell range from A2 to A4. And on the next line, I set the background color of that cell range. We can set the font styling for a specific cell or different style ranges. At line 16, I set up the font style to bold and we can set any custom font type, size, or formatting. So as I described earlier, Iron Excel supports adding formulas in the cell similar to the original Excel sheets. And Iron Excel has a really simple and straightforward way to add a formula to any cell. You just have to assign the formula in string format to the value property of any cell where you want to apply the formula. So as you can see here, I applied the formula to the A6 cell and used the sum formula. Iron Excel supports locking the sheet from editing. So we can use the protect sheet function to lock the sheet as I've done in line 22, right here. And of course you can save the Excel sheet on your machine using the save as function as I've done in line 24. So now let's open the generate, now let's run the project and wait for the processing to complete. And then we'll open up the Excel file. So here you can see the output generated by the Iron Excel is the same as the code. You can see the output border bottom of the A1 cell and the formula functioning in the A6 cell. And you can see that the options on the Excel sheet is disabled. This is because we've set a password for its editing in the code file. So Iron Excel is a really a great library for generating Excel files as it provides many easy functions for performing Excel operations without installing Microsoft Excel on your server or using Excel Interop. All right, so that's the end of the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And if you need any other assistance, our support team is standing by ready to assist.